Good morning, everyone. Jim here from Storm Warning News. And what will we do without our morning coffee? Goodness gracious. It is about 2.56 a.m. Eastern Time. Many of you are probably still fast asleep. Hope you're having good dreams. I'm going to talk to you about um, dream slash vision and it's getting hard for me to separate one from the other anymore. It's, they're all the same uh, message or warning to me. All right. There's been three things that I've had visions or dreams of over the last 18 to 20 hours. And, and again, I, I, it, I would never, up until recently, I would never consider sharing this stuff with you because this is a news channel after all and not a, a channel about me and my face talking to you. But if you enjoy this kind of content, I'm going to start mixing more of it in. And I think this is important anyway. Take from this what you will, pray about it. I would always say that. Yesterday afternoon... Um, made actually made a video about this, but never uploaded it. And I've since deleted it because it went long and I just didn't get a good feeling in my spirit about it. But now this morning, where I reside, I, in this, in a flash vision yesterday, I was standing in the front yard of where I reside and here in central New York. And normally the roadway out front is very busy, lots of dump trucks, semis whizzing by. It's posted 45 miles per hour. These trucks are doing 65 on average, and there's no shoulder for a police officer to pull them over on, so they know this, so they're 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 hauling ass. Um had a vision that I was standing out there and it was absolutely quiet. And I've had this type of thing with this roadway before, this type of vision. No traffic, no trucks, nothing. Silence. It was hot, overcast, and yet it felt like summer, but I'm not quite sure it was summer. It may have been autumn. There was a metallic, combination metallic and smoke smell on the air. It was an unusual, pungent, sharp aroma that did not smell pleasant. It smelled, it was caustic, okay? Um... And there's more to that, but it's not anything relevant to this. This morning when I woke up, I was hit with four, with four words. Silence before the storm. And I saw an image of darker clouds, gray, heavy storm clouds. Silence before the storm. And I think my mind scrambled to attach an image to it. Word silence before the storm in white. Okay. And then that means something, certainly. <clears throat> Got a hairball. Now, um, you probably have all seen or have sent or maybe even received overnight express mail. It comes in, you know, the white flat rate envelopes that's white with the blue lettering and blue trim on it. I had a dream of one of those envelopes last night, just before I got up and had something. It was just before I woke up to silence before the storm. And it was in the mail stream out there somewhere in the U.S. And inside this flat rate envelope was something cylindrical maybe the size of a Campbell's soup can, about that size, roundish, about this long. And it was shoved inside that envelope. It would fit inside one of those envelopes. Um, I saw it, did not have a good feeling. I just knew, I knew it was in the U.S. somewhere. And then I saw the image of a face of a man, a young man, with very pale skin, white, chalky white. Did not look necessarily healthy, but he was young. I'm guessing maybe in his 20s. And I knew from looking at him, he had very short hair. That he was from either, either Southern Europe, Russia, or Ukraine. That's what he looked like. I can't describe the facial features to you, but if you see 
pictures of Ukrainian soldiers, Russian soldiers, you know the facial structure of, of men, people born in that area of the world. And I knew that he was attached to that envelope, that he had mailed it from somewhere in the U.S. to somewhere in the U.S., but it had something cylindrical in it, something you wouldn't normally see in an envelope that would carry documents, for example. Silence before the storm, metallic fire smell on the air, flat rate. It was an overnight Priority Mail Express envelope with something cylindrical in it. Take from that what you will, all of these things together. To me, it means something. To me, it could be a portend of some sort of event, something as similar or sm small scale as a terror attack. It could be a symbol of something much larger. Again, the storm, the heat, the smell, the silence. It could be a portent of something much, much larger. But I have a very strong feeling about this. And again, the Lord will help me to understand it better. Jesus will help me to understand it through his Holy Spirit. But to me, it represents something very obvious with outliers. Obvious with outliers. What does it mean to you? What do you think about this? It's not something good. That much I'll leave with you. I'm going to continue to pray. I'm going to continue to pray that if he will, he will share with me specific things that aren't as segmented and unclear. Silence before the storm, the smell of something metallic and fiery on the air, heavy clouds, an overnight express mail, white and blue envelope with something cylindrical in it, probably mailed by someone within the U.S. to someone within the U.S., the mailer, I believe, being descended from Southern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, maybe Serbia, that area, Moldova, somewhere in that region of the world. Young man, very white, pasty skin, maybe young man in his 20s. Be expecting anything, my friends, and be surprised by nothing. Press into Jesus now more than ever before. Pray, seek him, read his word, ask him to comfort you. I pray that he will dispatch his warrior angels to surround and protect all of us. Jim signing out. Until the next time, God bless you.